Good morning, day three. Taking off the cabinets, gonna paint them. It's plain. Too sweet. I made a mess. Definitely keeping these hinges. Check it out, that's water going out the vent hose. Oops, I'm gonna probably stop that soon. So all the bleach doesn't run out. Okay, well that sucker's full. Oh no, oh there it is. Don't wanna lose this. Let's sniff some bleach. Oh gosh. Pump. figure out how to get this off because I've already done all the hard parts on the roof. Start with this one. You're going to stand underneath this mm -hmm. and you're just going to hold it flat so it doesn't fall down, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to gently tap it into place. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna come back under and I'll I'll drill it in. So this is what it looks like up top. And uh, tape it off and seal it up. Figure out how to extend this box. It doesn't seem all that strong. Well, that makes sense. It's not strong. <laughs> the boxes of uh, replacing those we're gonna leave it open we're going to knock down this wall and maybe remove some extra some of the rest of this okay so admittedly I did not time that but it really didn't feel like it took very long I need gloves. Yeah, these gloves aren't perfect anymore, but they're better than nothing. So, one of the reasons I can think of that they use this is it's supposed to be good with like areas that involve moisture or something like that. The heat pump is also a dehumidifier. Hopefully that will keep the, the moisture out of the area or this is all just a terrible mistake could be we're gonna pull out this old propane dometic uh fridge because we're not using any propane in this build really clear out this whole cabinet area um and we'll be using a 12 volt 12 volt slash 24 volt electric fridge instead so let's do that mm. What is holding this in? Staples. That was way easier. Mallet for the win. Staples or screws? Sweet! This is awesome! New counter. Complete destruction. Here comes. 
comes Haley. It's crazy. I don't know how they made this place look so small. Everything. It's just so much better. sticking out. Good job. Good. So I want to share with you how I'm going to mount the toilet. So you got these uh, corner brackets and fixed them to the top of the seat. And I placed it on here and it fit nicely. And then I took a marker and I marked around the edges here because of these four little tabs that stick out. And now I'm just going to cut into them and create like a little groove for it to sit into. I'm going to use this reciprocating or vibrating saw, whatever it's called. This thing has been awesome. It's really simple. I'm going to use this $2 lid from Lowe's um, to secure the rim of the bag that's going to go in the toilet. So all I'm going to do is just cut out this interior circle for uh, the lid and then I'm just going to have this nice edge that I can use to secure my trash bags. So let's do that. Alright, so now that I've notched out these pieces, this is going to be the first ever test fit. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's see if I got it right. Well, that'll secure the hinge so it doesn't rotate. For one, and two, it's going to it's going to tighten up that uh that seal, which is pretty good. I'm gonna come down a little bit deeper. Test. Okay, so good news is it works. Also, the blue part fits inside my grooves already, so. That was very lucky. Makes it nice and tight as well. The only problem I have is that I now have to get these to go to still fit in their slots. That's the only thing that's that's missing. The way I'm thinking about doing this, is if we pull off our rim, okay, there's our two grooves. I want the brackets to just stick through the rim and leave the top part unscathed so that it's all one continuous piece and I think I'm just gonna cut like a little notch in both of these I, bet I could knock these out with my fingers yep to do both sides? No, I don't think so. I think it'll just go like this. I can use the other ones as guides. It worked. <laughs> Nice and secure. I mean, it's all attached. Put my bits back inside. I had some tools in here. Very, very, very successful. That is fantastic. And cheap. So cheap. So cheap. Love it.